Drivers warn to expect the unexpected as kids head back to school. Kids head back to school Tuesday, and drivers are being urged to slow down and pay attention. We want everyone just to take their time, slow down and follow the speed limits in school zones, says Central Okanagan School Superintendent and CEO Kevin Cardle. Families should review their road safety and try to avoid distractions during the excitement of day one and throughout the school year. When you're in school zones, expect the unexpected, says Linda Lawler, Community Impact Associate Manager with BCAA. Look for safety risks such as kids darting from cars, along with kids on wheels and other pedestrians walking. Lawler points out that even talking to your kids while driving can be a distraction, and even using a hands-free cell phone can still take your attention away from the road. Stay focused and alert as much as you can. Be patient and courteous with people. Reacting in extreme frustration may aggravate the situation. So, just try to pack your patience in those busy school zones. Cardle encourages students to walk or cycle to school when possible. Some schools even have walking school buses, where groups of kids and parents make the trek together to ensure safety in numbers. If you don't have school kids to drop off or pick up, consider avoiding the area altogether. I actually have a school zone in my area, so when I'm commuting to work I take a different route, says Lawler. RCMP will be out enforcing school zone speed limits. The summer of 2024 has been an especially deadly one on BC roads and highways. In July alone, the Ministry of Public Safety and Solicitor General says 51 people died of injuries suffered in motor vehicle incidents. The fines for speeding in a school zone range from $196 to $253. Distracted or dangerous driving come with even heftier penalties.